very excited for today because my package came. Now when I was a freshman in college, I didn't have a lot of friends, and one of the ways I made friends was by bringing around my NES to people's dorms and playing Battletoads. It totally worked. The problem with this is that retro game concerts are old and dumb, and it's 2017 and I don't have to carry around a big gray box and like five pounds of games with me everywhere I go. So that's why I ordered this. Everything I need to build my own portable retro Pi gaming system. Raspberry Pi 3, USB controller. This, I think, is just a bunch of cables. Mini SD card. I specifically got this one because it has a teeny shark on it. Now I know what you're thinking, Claire, you don't actually own a TV. How are you gonna play this retro pie? That's why I ordered this LED projector. It's pretty small um, and it was only $30, so I don't imagine it's gonna be amazing quality. But if you only wanna play old NES games on it, it's hopefully gonna be fine. If you don't know, basically a retro Pi is software that turns a Raspberry Pi into an emulator. And since there's lots of free ROMs online for older games, you can basically have anyone you want. Now my plan is to take my Raspberry Pi and my projector and put them all into one box which you can plug in and then play anywhere. Which is why I also got this bad boy. It will be just big enough to fit everything with some room for controllers and hypothetically Next time I'm going to a party, I can just bring this for hours of Battletoad entertainment. Now there's one significant problem starting out. I'm trying to power two separate things. This takes 12 volts and this takes 5 volts. And I don't want to have two separate power outlets. Which is why I got this bad boy. Basically what it does is convert the power for coming from your outlet to both 5 and 12 volts. So all I have to do is hook this all together and then I only have to one output. Building RetroPie itself is pretty straightforward, and I'm not gonna go in depth because there's like a million good videos on it online. I'll link the one I used down below. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my RetroPie and see if I can actually make it run, and then I can figure out how I'm gonna fit everything inside the lunchbox. The first thing I did was cut a bunch of holes in my box and then 3D print little frames to fit into those holes. A metal box isn't really a great thing to try and cut into. I found the most effective way of making these holes is stabbing it with this knife and then cutting it with the little clippers. It was at this point that I realized my box wasn't really gonna be big enough. It will be just big enough to fit everything. So I had to do something I didn't wanna do, which was mount the Raspberry Pi on the outside, which kind of ruins the entire point of this thing. But the problem was I had to lift the projector over here to get enough clearance to, over this lip. And then I had a room up here. Another problem that I ran into is that why the projector has a built-in speaker, it's really, really quiet. And I kind of wanted this to be an all at once, so I actually ended up ordering this Bluetooth speaker. So I have my power supply, Bluetooth speaker, projector, and then the poor Raspberry Pi has to live on the outside. And it just undid itself. About halfway through this project, my Raspberry Pi stopped working when I plugged it in. And I couldn't figure out why, it was because I had actually broken the micro SD card in half. I will remember you. So I want something to wrap my wire around. So I'm gonna put a hook here and here. Hopefully that will work. Um, there's actually a built-in on-off switch on the cable that came with the Raspberry Pi. So I just mounted it here. You can see. Uh, it runs from here to here and then to the power supply. And then on this side, we got our outlet with our little hooks. And this side, we got our projector. Now I got two controllers in here. Oh, close on me. Got it. Ooh. Yeah. Here's the system running. And this is all I need and a plug, which is pretty sweet. Heck yeah. No. I think the thing I'm most excited about is I can literally just roll into a party with this. 
This is all I need. Maybe people will actually invite me to parties now. Now, I did play the summon, it's pretty cool. Obviously, the projector isn't super bright, and the sound isn't super loud, but also, it's in a box that's like eight inches by five inches, you know? If I really want quality, I'm gonna hook it up to a TV anyways. Ah, just kidding, I'm back. All of these items for this project, except the lunchbox, were sent to me from Papa Gearbest himself. If you don't know who Gearbest are, they're the reason there's like a million CR10 reviews on YouTube. But all joking aside, they've been very nice and kind of let me do whatever I want, which today was billed as something to play Battlefoads on. If you're curious about anything I use, they're all linked in the description. And now, and now I think I'm gonna go play NES. No! <laughs> 